What's going on, YouTube? It's Outdoors with Tim, and we're here in the gun room. I know it's been a little while since y'all been here in this gun room, but this is one of my favorite places to hang out, especially when I have the opportunity to come in here. I look forward to bringing y'all along. Well, listen, this evening, and it is kind of late, and I'm glad I can make this video because I wanted to show y'all a few things and talk about you, uh, talk about these things to you, not talk about you, I promise. Anyway, um, what I want to talk to you about was um, these cool little sights. Um, these, I don't know, they're true glow or tritium sights is what a lot of people are saying. Um, I actually think these are the true glow. Um, but anyway, I want to share this with you. If you'll look at this, uh, this, this nine millimeter Smith & Wesson, this is the SD9. Uh, this is a gun I've had a while and haven't been able to do a review on or even share anything uh, about it with you. Um, I want you to know that this gun is clear. Uh, you can see down the magazine uh, where the magazine would be. There's no magazine in it and it is clear. And I knew that before I started to bring y'all along on this video. And before we get any further on it, if you will, please like and subscribe, share the video with your friends and family, and tell them about Outdoors with Tim because there are other things on my channel that have a lot to do with shooting, ammo, types of guns, and what they cost and where you can find them. All right. Anyway, that being said, I know you guys have seen the video. This is uh, my SD40. Uh, and I've had it a little while as well. Um, I've owned a couple of these, uh, the older ones, and this is the much newer one, as a matter of fact, and it is unloaded as well. And you look in there and see. But anyway, I wanted to show you the comparisons in the in the pistol, in the 40 and in the 9. And there is the difference right there. Now let me turn it this way, and then I'll show you. You can tell that the 40 is a lot bulkier and the 9 is a lot narrower. Well, of course it is because the 9 is uh, a smaller uh, a smaller bullet, so it doesn't have to be as bulky. And the 40 is a little bit wider because it takes a larger round of ammo. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to share with you is the uh, this is a Serpa holster by Blackhawk. It is a retention style holster. And, um, and it, the, uh, if you wanted to go and find one of these, you would look for the Black Hawk, Black Hawk and it would be the 13 on the package. So you would know you were getting it. And, and it works for the SD9 and the 40. And uh, this is uh, outside the waistband, but it clips inside the waistband and hooks. It hooks right on your waistband so it won't come off. But the great thing about this is, is it works, it works my 40, SD 40. And the way to get it out is you would put your finger here, press this button and pull. Also, watch out for the horror video, the horror, whew, can't even talk the horror videos on YouTube about this holster. People are like, well, if you don't have any experience with firearms, you need to be careful because a lot of people are shooting themselves with this holster and this is how they're doing it. They're putting their finger on it, they're pulling it out and their finger goes right in here at the same time. They pull the trigger when they're drawing their pistol. Well, firearm safety is a must. I'm sorry to say it, regardless of how long you've been around firearms or if you're a new beginner. Firearm safety and learning firearm safety is very important. I've been around firearms for 35 years, and I can tell you right now, if I don't use common sense and learn some general knowledge, I'll be one of the first persons to shoot myself in the foot or accidentally discharge a firearm when I didn't want to. But I'm glad I listened to somebody who has some smarts. I learned some things, and I remembered it, and I learned as I go. But I'm very good at firearm safety and here's the thing they would say oh you got the serpa holster oh it's dangerous because when you pull it out you automatically want to put your finger in the trigger well not me i just do it like this and that's it okay so whatever horror stories you hear about this serpa holster the black hawk it's not all so true you just got to remember what you're doing when you're drawing your firearm also wanted to share with you this is the 40 
SD <clears throat> SD40 VE value enhanced great pistol for the money you can purchase that pistol for about three hundred and twenty nine dollars here in South Carolina at most gun stores the other one is is the SD9 this is not a VE but this is the SD9 security defense that's what it stands for but it's very nice and it works for the Serpa holster it will not go nowhere guys it is secured. It is a retention holster. And that's what makes these, these uh, Serpa holsters so nice. It's because once it's in there, it's not coming out. So if you're going, you know, let's say on a hike and you're fishing or you're hunting or whatever, and you have your firearm on you and you step on a slope and you, you know, slip, your feet go out from underneath you and you hit the ground, your pistol is still going to be in that holster and your holster is still going to be connected to your side. And if someone was to try to come up from behind you and just grab it, it's not going to come out. Unless they already know how to operate the circle holster and hit that button. By that time, I think you kind of figured out somebody's trying to take your firearm and you would have to reach around there and take care of business and stop them. Uh, but anyway, that is kind of some of the things I want to share with you on the pistols, on the SD40 and the SD9. Um... One other thing I want to share with you, and I'm going to do a video on it really soon, and I've had this a little while, and I haven't showed it with, shared it with you or showed it to you, and I'm glad I can this evening because the weather's bad outside. It's rainy, and there's some huge dust cloud coming from Africa, the Sierra Desert or something, but anyway, who cares? That's over there. We're here in America, and guns. We love guns. We love our freedom and our Second Amendment right, but anyway, this is the GSG. 1911 22 caliber and uh it is uh unloaded as well you can see all the way up through the magazine uh where the magazine would go so you know it's unloaded yeah the hammer is back and no the hammer will not go back forward until i put the magazine in it and um either dry fire it or um reset the hammer so anyway it is a built on the full frame of a 1911 uh 45 so it's almost like the real thing i mean it it's just a 22 caliber it's all metal everything on it is metal built steel i mean it's just and it's like a sewing machine running in your hand when you shoot this pistol so i look forward to bringing y'all along uh, this is a uh, wood checkered grips uh, very nice very nice pistol um but i look forward to bringing y'all along when i shoot this one too um but anyway, hey guys, I really appreciate y'all coming along here in the gun room. I really do. This is like one of my favorite places to come and then talk with you. And if you will, leave me a comment and uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, um, give me some ideas on some stuff because I really want to start doing more gun room videos. Um, Outdoors with Tim is a kind of like a spur of the moment. I'm like, hey, I ought to video that. I know my viewers, they want to see this kind of stuff. Um but, you know, give me some ideas to make some videos on some stuff. Um, one of the other things I would like to uh, show you is, um, let's see here. Hold on a minute. <laughs> um, this uh, new scope that uh, I, uh, I've had it for a while. I got it off of Amazon. Really cool. Um, comes with batteries. Uh, for the laser and the crosshairs, uh, little scope covers, and I want to show you because this is for this is for my future 22 rifle, um, the tactical 22 rifle like that. But this is this is the scope. Um, you can buy them off of Amazon for like fifty nine dollars, forty nine dollars, or something like that. But anyway, it has a laser right here that you would push button and it has uh illumination crosshairs green or red this is how you would turn it on and i'll show you uh right here with the 300 and you all know about the 300 because i think i've done some videos on my 300 so anyway this is oh yeah new uh new upgrade here with the uh bipod tripod whatever you want to call it okay so that's it right there. And if you'll look right here, 
you see that uh, red dot? Check that out, right? <laughs> and uh, you can turn it on and off, whatever you want to do. But, you know, wherever the red dot goes, they say that's where the bullet goes. So, anyway, um, right here, I'll try to line it up where you can see. Okay, you see the red light come on, getting brighter. That's the red crosshairs. Now they're off. You should see green. There's green right there, right? And then you, you just go back around till it turns off. All right, so it's off. But anyway, um, also uh, I have a little tactical light on here now. Um, this is my first, not necessarily a build, but uh, the gun was already made. <laughs> All I did was buy accessories for it. I did buy a uh, one-point harness uh a while back so um i can actually put the harness over my underneath my arm and around my neck and my uh, ar can hang uh, down in front of me um but anyway i just bought these accessories here and there and just kind of you know built the gun how i like it and uh, i really do like it a lot um it shoots good 300 blackout don't shoot any dirty ammo in it because it will clog up your gas block and you will tear your AR apart piece by piece and clean it out. And um, you know, usually this this black this this American Tactical 300 Blackout will eat any ammo on the market today. It will shoot everything you put in it until you start shooting dirty ammo. And from what I've been told, it's not just the American Tactical uh, ARs. It's all ARs. All ARs do not like dirty ammo. So. If you shoot dirty ammo, remember it's gonna start miss. It's gonna start messing up, and you got to tear your gun apart and fix it. But uh, anyway, I know I hadn't done a shoot video on it neither, but I do look forward to going to the range, bringing you guys along, and let's just uh, shoot guns and have a good time. So that's important. But uh, you guys stay tuned, and maybe we'll look at some more stuff in the gun room tonight. <laughs> well, we're back, guys. Yeah, I had to put the, the old 300 up. But anyway, listen, I wanted to also share something with you. This ammo right here by Magtech, this is 9mm. And I um, wanted to talk to you a minute about this 115 grain Magtech 9mm ammo. If you see this ammo anywhere and you have the opportunity to buy it, I would recommend, and they are not paying me to say this, I'm just telling you. Buy this ammo right here. You should be able to purchase this Mag Magtech 9mm ammo anywhere for under $20. For 50 shots, I mean, you you just you can't beat it. I mean, it's a 9mm round. It's a, a 115 grain. It's a full metal jacket ammo. Let's see if I can get up here where you can read this. I don't know why my camera's not wanting to focus, but I don't know. I can't get it to focus, guys. But uh, you guys stay tuned. I'll tell you more about this mag tech. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, in the gun room, that is one thing. You will be in the gun room, and your wife will be in the other room, and she will need you to take care of something or fix something or whatever. But anyway, um, had to step out for a few minutes, and I'm glad I'm back. And Mr. Ralph is uh, bumping his uh, little rear end, his puppy rear end, up against the tripod. So... Um, and Ralph likes to hang out in the gun room too. Um, and, uh, if you guys hadn't heard the story on Mr. Ralph, Mr. Ralph is 16 years old or he will be July 15th of 2020. And Ralph is my little buddy. So he follows me everywhere I go. Um, one other product I want to talk about, and I'm not endorsing them by any means because they didn't ask me to, but if they want to sponsor my channel or send me some free stuff, I'll be glad to take it and advertise it on my channel and talk about it. But anyway, Remington 12 gauge, two and three quarter, 1200 uh, feet um, velocity, feet per second. I've noticed that 12 gauge slug ammo is going through the roof in a lot of ammo stores um, here in South Carolina. This stuff is getting outrageous. I mean, it used to be... $3.99, $4.99 a box, and it's getting up there somewhat in the neighborhood of $20 and 
$20 and $25 for five shots, guys. And I'll tell you why. Something's going on with our economy, and the government has a lot to do with it. Um, taxes, all kinds of little things. But if you have a shotgun, even though you don't shoot it, if you have an opportunity to buy ammunition for your shotgun, I would advise you to purchase you some ammunition. Um, rumor has it that sometime after the first of the year, 2021, there is a new law on the books. Uh, hasn't been signed in the law yet. Doesn't mean it'll pass. But they're looking to raise the taxes on firearms and ammunition again. So we already paid 24% taxes now on ammunition and guns. So that is just something for y'all to think about. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm glad I could bring y'all along, share a little bit, some of the things I got, and I'm going to be doing some future videos on, especially shooting. Um, definitely going to be taking the 9mm and the 40 and the 300 blackout to the range and the 20, <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely be taking the 1911, uh, GSG, um, over to the gun range um this this firearm i tell you what i mean for something made in germany out of the good the craftsmanship that went into this thing i mean they really for a 22 caliber they they didn't skimp this thing is really nice i mean if you ever get an opportunity to uh hold a a uh, gsg or even shoot it I bet you'll come back on this video and leave me a comment and say, you know what, your comment was, or my video was spot on about the GSG. It's really nice. It is literally, I mean, it runs flawlessly. I mean, like a sewing machine. It's just smooth. It, I mean, it's easy. My mother-in-law can pull back the slide. Just two fingers, guys, two fingers. You see that? And let it go. It goes into battery, everything. Um... And she really thought it was very easy to pull back too. Um, so it's it's a lot of fun to shoot that gun. And I can't wait to bring y'all along in a future video. And you guys will get to see me shooting. Hey guys, um, didn't mean to babble too much this evening. Uh, just had some time on my hands and wanted to bring y'all along in the gun room. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all uh, tuning in to Outdoors with Tim. If you will, hit the uh, subscribe like and share the video with someone who you think would be interested in watching these type of videos and i hope that i uh, get some uh, thumbs up and some comments and some ideas on some future videos and uh hey guys don't remember uh <laughs> don't remember don't forget to go out there and vote in november vote and pick the president that you know is going to run the country for the best let's say this for the best interest of all Americans. How about that? God bless y'all from the gun room outdoors with Tim. We'll see y'all.